Hey guys, KD5 here, and today we are going to go over EKGs once again. So we are going today over conduction blocks. So a quick de definition for conduction blocks are any disruptions in the flow of electricity along the normal pathways of electrical condu conduction in the heart. So today we are going to go over two types of conduction blocks. And they are named by their anatomical location. We will go over the other types later. They are the AV block and the bundle band branch block. So AV blocks come in three types, first degree, second degree, and third degree AV blocks. And they're diagnosed by analyzing the relationship of the P waves to the QRS complexes. So a first degree AV block is when there is a delay in conduction at the AV node or the His bundle. Usually, the wave of depolarization gets held up at the AV node longer than the usual one, tenth of a second. Now, the delay normally happens because the atria needs some time to contract before the ventricles start contracting. For some physiological reasons for this are that there are a fewer number of ja gap junctions and that there is a smaller diameter, which means the velocity is smaller. If the PR interval is longer than 0.2 seconds and is uniform, that is enough for a diagnosis of a first degree AV block. A second degree AV block is when not every atrial impulse can pass through the AV nodes and then onto the ventricles. There are two versions of a second degree AV block, the Wenckebach block or the Mobitz type one second degree AV block. And I'm gonna use the Wenckebach block as the name for it because I think it's cooler. And the Mobitz type two second degree AV block. So the Wenckebach block happens because of a block between within the AV node. With each su successive atrial impulse, the delay gets longer and longer, and then one impulse doesn't make it through. This is usually every third or fourth impulse. You can see a Wenckebach block on an EKG if the PR interval continues to get larger until a QRS complex doesn't follow. The prolonged PR interval gradually rises from each segment. Then, moving on to the Mobitz type 2 block. This happens due to a block below the His bundle. It's similar to the Wenckebach block because some of the atrial impulses are transmitted to the ventricles. But, the lengthening of the PR interval in succession doesn't happen. Instead, conduction either happens or doesn't happen. And to see a Mobitz type 2 block on an EKG, you can see a couple of normal PR intervals, then you can see a P wave that isn't followed by a QRS complex. The ratio of conducted beats to non-conducted beats is usually not constant. Sometimes the ventricles don't even contract because there is a normal PR interval of 160 to 200 milliseconds. A third degree heart block is more severe. No atrial impulses make it through to activate the ventricles. There are multiple areas where the block can occur. Because of this, the ventricles and the atria start beating on beats but without coordination. The second type of blocks are bundle branch blocks that we're going over today. A bundle branch block is when the current in the left or right bundle branches are slowed down or blocked. A right bundle branch block is when conduction through the right bundle is delayed or obstructed. Because of this, right ventricle depolarization happens when the left ventricle is almost fully depolarized. This is shown on the EKG by the QRS complex widening beyond 0.12 seconds. The QRS complex also becomes a unique shape, um, which is known as the R prime shape, or more commonly known as rabbit ear shape, because they look like rabbit ears. A left bundle branch block is when the left ventricular polarization is delayed. You can see this on the EKG when the QRS complex widens beyond 0.12 seconds, and the QRS complex will also have a change in shape. So that is all for today, guys. We went over bundle branch blocks and AV blocks, and we also saw that there are multiple types of blocks. I hope you guys enjoyed today's EKG video, and if you did, please consider liking or subscribing. And with that, thank you. Bye-bye. See ya.